a great welcome to the series on Abacus, myself Jana Janpi. This is tutorial number 18 and provides the model analysis of a beam using the non-structural mass option in Abacus. So let us first go through the problem statement. So here is shown a simply supported beam of span 6 meters having a distributed mass of small m. The properties of the beam is shown here. It is essentially the steel material with an e-value of 2 into 10 to 11 newton per meter square, Poisson's ratio of 0.3. Here, as we are using the non structural mass, it is assumed that the distributed mass m here, it takes care of the self weight of the beam, and accordingly, only a small value of the mass density is provided in the program, that is equal to 1 kg per meter cube. And the total non structural mass that is considered in the calculation is 1000 kg, which indicates a distributed mass m equal to 1000 divided by 6, that is equal to 166.7. So the cross section of the beam is shown here, which is essentially a rectangle section with a width of 50 millimeters and a depth of 100 millimeters. We shall calculate the model shapes as well as the model frequencies using the first five modes. And the, these calculated values will be verified using the standard values available in the literature. That is, we shall use the formula fn is equal to kn divided by 2 pi into square root of e into i into g divided by w into l raised to 4. And here, w by g indicates the distributed mass acting on the beam. And here, for the various modes 1 to 5, the kn values to be used are given over here, ranging from 9.87 to 247. Accordingly, we calculated the natural frequency of the beam as shown and as highlighted here in yellow and these values will be used as a benchmark for verifying the results obtained from Abacus. So let us move directly to Abacus. Okay fine, so as usual we will start with uh, the module part. We shall create the beam first. It's a very simple model. It's a two-dimensional uh, model. So let me call this as Potter's beam. So the modeling space will be 2D planar, deformable, and the basic feature will be the wire. So continue. So let us uh, draw a straight line starting from the point 00, 0 and to another point 60. Because uh, the beam is having a, a span of 6 meters. So this means that yes, the beam is drawn. So we have completed the sketch. Done. So let us now straight away go for defining the properties. So we shall create a property first, beginning with the material name as steel. This is just for easy identification, both for the general, the density, and here we are providing only a very no, very minimal density, one kg per meter cube, because we assume that all the self mass coming out of the density is only included in the non-structural mass in our calculations. So accordingly, this value is kept to very minimal, 1. So now let us proceed for uh, providing the elastic properties. So here we'll uh, do it as a 2 mean 11, and the positive ratio will keep it as a 0 0.30. So that's OK. Fine. So let us now uh, create the section. So I'll call it as a section B. And here the category will be just as beam, the type will be beam, continue. Okay, so now in this case, we need to provide a cross section also, that's a rectangle section. So let us create a cross section also here to create beam profile. So I will call it as a profile as a rectangle, and I will choose a rectangle profile over here, continue. And here we know that A, the width is nothing but 0 0.05 meters. We are uh, following all throughout uh, newtons and meters, so that this consistency needs to be made in all throughout the program. So this will be 50 mm, and uh, the B, that's the depth of the beam, that is uh, 100 millimeters, that is 0 0.10 meters. So this is okay. So fine. So that's okay. So now let us uh, assign this uh, section to the beam. Okay. So we shall uh, select the region. So this is my region. Okay. John, and here uh, it's a section beam that's equal to me, and the type is beam, and the material B is steel. Okay, so now, uh, as it is a linear element, we need to assign the section orientation as well. So, uh, plug this assign beam orientation uh, button. Okay, so 
Just click it. It will ask you to select the regions. So select the region here. Okay, fine. So done. And uh, this is acceptable to me. So as you can see that, uh, okay, this is your section one and this is your, uh, this is your, this is your direction two. So just click the button, okay, to accept these orientations. Now, uh, there is a, a facility available in Abacus you know, to see whether uh, the section is assigned in the proper orientation or not. So what you can do is that you can straight away go to the view, view part display option. Okay, in the part display option, there is a, a facility available as idealization front of beam profile. So I've just applied it. Yes, you can see that the beam is now available or it is a shown, okay, uh, in 3D. So if you want to see the section, you can see that uh, section and verify yourself for the section orientation. Okay, so you can see that here in our case, okay, it is uh, rightly oriented. This is my B, this is my depth. Okay, so go back. All right, so this is a part of display options and uncheck this. Apply. Okay, and this is my XY. So this indicates that yes, we have assigned the section we have assigned to orientation so everything is over but now we can go to the next module uh, in the assembly module uh, it's a very simple one we have got only one instance we just uh, create this instance for the beam okay so this is all right nothing else to be done in the assembly and this is a very simple uh, beam go straight to the step and the step what you can do is that you can go to create a new step i'll call this a step for the frequency calculation as step frequency and the procedure type will be the linear perturbation and the type will be the frequency so continue and here i'm interested in uh, only the first five frequencies eigenvalues so i'll choose it as a five so that's okay for me so we are ready to proceed to the next one here we don't have any kind of interaction here now we have the load and here we uh, we need to specify only the boundary conditions because we don't have any kind of an external load. So let us uh, provide, this is my pin tent and this is my roller vent. So let us uh, accordingly assign these boundary conditions. So I'll create a new boundary condition here. So call it as a BC, for example, BC pin. Okay. So I would like to create it in the initial step, the displacement rotation. Okay, continue. So let us uh, select the node here. So this is, this is my node. Okay, so done. Now it will ask you. So at the end, I want to restrain both U1 and U2 and allow the URV to take place. Okay. So in a similar way, let us also create another border condition for the roller band. So create here. So write it as a busy roller, busy roller in the initial uh, step only. Continue. In this case, I will uh, select this end. All right, so done. So we can, uh, so we will allow only the U2, U1 and UR3 and restraining the Y component that's the U2. So that represents uh, typically a roller end, that's okay. So uh, this means that uh, we have completed the boundary conditions. Now before uh, uh, going to the mesh, let us uh, uh, start to feeding uh, the so-called structural mass into the model. So this is uh, straight available in the assembly module you go to the assembly module, if there is a facility known as an engineering features, you can just double click it. Okay. So just, so you can just create it. So here there are various uh, items like, for example, inertia, cracks, spring dashboards, fastness, etc. So select the inertia. All right. So I will call it as inertia one. And as I already told you, we are interested in uh, not the point mass or inertia, but the non structural mass. Continue. And here we need to select the beam. Okay, this is the beam where I want to apply the, my non-structural mass. So now I would like to provide this a, a mass as a distributed mass. So I will apply it as a mass per unit length to the value of 1667. Okay, so this is okay for me. So you can say that yes, now the mass is distributed along the length of the beam. So means our uh, application of the mass is over which indicates that we are ready to uh, uh, proceed to the mesh. Uh, this is a very simple uh, problem. So we don't have uh, much to do in the mesh part. So, so we, we shall select a global seed of uh, okay, points is a little bit large. So I'll choose it as a 0.2 meters. And then uh, 
regarding uh, the element type element i would like to select a simple beam element type for this so standard is a beam element type the geometric model will be set as linear and so shear flexible which indicates that the beam element type in this case will be b21 which is simply a two node beam in a plane so this is okay for us and uh, we don't have any kind of uh, it's a 2d beam we don't have any kind of a mesh control to be exercised here so we are ready to proceed for the meshing so we are okay to mesh yes so this means that the mesh is also over uh, so we are ready to proceed for creating the job and running the job we create so let me call this job as an example uh, call it as a for a q1 frequency one okay and uh, i'll uh, continue okay it's okay and uh, now submit the job as you can see that it's a very small job so it hardly takes maybe say 15 20 seconds or more than that yes as you can see that the job is completed let us proceed straight away for uh, the results Okay, so we are, uh, as you can see that we are interested in the model shapes. So yes, this is the first mode, and you can see that the frequency that we have is 3.08. Can okay, please see into, yes, it is, uh, let me just zoom this. Yes, uh, this is a 3.08. Okay, this is okay, acceptable. There is no power of 3.0.3. Now, second mode is the, you can see that there's a model shape. And here you will find that the frequency is 12.32. Let us see what's the calculated value. 12.32. Okay, 12.35. Now let us see the third mode. And the frequency is 27.7. Let us see the calculated value. So it's a 27.8. Okay, so nearby. And let us see the fourth mode. And here is the more shape for the fourth mode. And the associated frequency is 49.08. 59.08 okay there's a small difference over here this is a 49.4 but it's acceptable no issue at all and finally the fifth mode shape it comes with a frequency of a 76.4 hertz and let's see the calculator value so it is 77.24 oh uh, yes uh, there's a small difference 76.4 and 77.4 but it's acceptable it's a higher mode so um, this is a very simple problem that uh, demonstrated the how to extract the model uh, frequencies as well as the uh, model shapes uh, using a very simple uh, B model and we have used uh, the so-called uh, the non-structural mass option in Abacus, that's all.